good afternoon. This is the first video of its kind for showing you how to deploy a new web GUI website. Today we're going to build a brand new website for the domain netemployment.com. When you bring your web browser, and I'm using Google Chrome just so that there's no confusion, it just simplifies my uh, presentation for today. When you bring up your website, <coughs> initially you're going to see the username. You're going to show an admin account, which is basically the person that is permitted to build the website. Their password, and all default passwords are 123QWE. That's all default for the admin account. We recommend that you change that as soon as possible. Your email address we recommend that you put up netemployment.com <coughs> and in case you're not in New York or Chicago you can change your time zone here. When you're done with that page click Save and we're going to uh, change some values here. Net Employment is going to be the name of this website and for information the company email address is going to be info at netemployment.com and our website is going to be www.netemployment.com Save. We're not going to send statistics to WebGUI, that's fine, disable that. And yes, we'd like to look at a site starter. You might like the site starter and you might decide that the content that you can choose from here is easy enough. We're going to pick a logo. I'm going to choose a file that's on my server, or my PC rather, in my pictures directory. save that. You can see the stars right over here. We can pick a smaller star to start with also. Um, you have a choice of different themes. The default theme is a brown background. You can have a red background, a black background. I'm kind of partial to the gold black background. And for this situation, um, let's just leave it the way it is. You can make different changes for link colors, header text colors, content text colors, and we're going to leave those tests for changing it up to you. For instance, if you click on one of these items, you can pick a different color, see the color, and then click Save. That's what happens when you pick that kind of color. So let's change the content background back to here. Close. And we're back. And we're going to save this and move forward. You have additional things that you can put on the website. We're going to have a contact us page uh, search function all about us. This is where we put content about your organization. We'll have one on our site as well. You can have a news section and if you want you can have discussion groups, forums. There's a support and a general discussion. We'll put them up for right now. Click Save and your site is ready to roll. We're going to start off with uh, video number two which is going to talk about how do we make changes to our brand new website? Look forward to seeing you in the next section. Bye.